a demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. <laughs> Man, Artorius and Anominat. Neither one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Hmm. This is open now, again. Might as well pick him back up again. Oh, I, have, I can't pick them up. I got too many. I need to sell them. Outside. Oh, there we sit. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry, too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway... It's not like I have any idea where we are now. 
That's a good point. Ahaha! But an object misused is one thing, a person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. The Nominat's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me 10 gold. I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with the Nominat. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominat? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Grimoire? Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent for me salts down in South Gand. Not much to work South with Gand, here. South really. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. South Gand, Mid Gand, oh, and North Gand. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Hmm. Did Luffy Set learn anything new? Hmm. Yeah. Triflare, Geostigma, Pyromatic Ring. <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Turn to the ruins and rest. I can do that. Gotta take that eye patch off of Aizen. It's bugging me now. To atone for this grave sin. This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. <sighs> Hmm. My spying on us. This light, it's Melchior's communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? 
You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malak and bring him to the capital then? With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Malak may interfere. This Malak may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Malak could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. feeling I'm fine listen don't try anything like that again pain is pain is scary right I'm all right no more running away I'm Lafisa it's good to finally meet you properly Eleanor y yeah likewise don't worry if you try running you won't get far once I've eaten your arms and legs I merely need you alive to act as his vessel, nothing more. That won't be necessary. I swore an oath before our duel. An oath grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? <coughs> In that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nominat going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nominat's ritual is kept confidential even within the Abbey. All I know is that it involves Melchior. And it looks like the only way we'll figure out Inominat's true nature is by deciphering Lafisette's book. We'll have to track down Mogulu's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to Isult in Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've never seen a Moloch quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafisette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. <laughs> Listen, Lafisette. If she makes any strange moves, we want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath-bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. If you say so. She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. <laughs> well, 
I won't deny it. Soul Lancer Treasure Hunter. Hmm. What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, <laughs> and men can never see through their deceptions. I totally feel you. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy, and guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. <laughs> if you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? Ha! <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I have the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you <laughs> think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right! <laughs> I'm not like that, though. Huh? Yes. Some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do, and I for one despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate dishonesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. We had some... What? Oh, yeah, I was gonna get rid of... Ah! 